turn to God, who else would you turn to? Who are you going to repent to? You cannot repent to Satan. Satan is so happy that you're doing what you're doing. Ain't no need to repent to him. He's like, come on, keep doing it, y'all. Keep doing what you've been doing. No. Do you. That's right. See, Jesus is saying, follow my way. Yes. Yes. Stop being of this world. Stop thinking that the answer is you. Satan is saying, be of this world and think the answer is you. John the Baptist. He thought the answer was him at all times. Then he says in verse 16, To what can I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others. Now y'all know Jesus liked kids. He loved children. But this generation was a group of bad kids. You know the ones you got to pop a couple times. You might have to go get the switch on. You might have to knock them out. And Jesus is saying, that's y'all. Jesus looks at how this generation is and how they were uncertain in receiving God's message, his ways, and his prophets. How many times did you hear the prophets say they didn't listen, Lord? Lord, I got to go back to them, Lord. Lord, you told me to tell them how to do this. Lord, you gave me the law to give to them. Lord, I prayed. Lord, we was walking through Israel. They was murmuring, but you just fed them. Lord, you said don't eat this on this day, but we did anyway. Lord, we made idols and images that can't do nothing for us, and we worshiped them. We couldn't accept them. Oh, and don't let me forget about the Messiah who came, and we beat him down, spit on him, cursed him. See, and what he ate was. 
was not that what your normal man ate either. You know, we was like, give me some beef, some lamb. We wasn't like, give me a locust. So they thought that John's ways was harsh and severe. Why is he doing that when he could be doing this? He was disciplined of what his message was. And then, since John was the dirge in the morning part, we got to get to the party of Jesus Christ. If Jesus was the party dude, the Son of Man came eating and drinking. Uh-oh. And they say, here is a glutton and a drunkard. Uh-oh. Got him too. Got him too. <laughs> a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her deeds. First of all, let's get to this because this is my part. <laughs> Jesus was the party and joyful. Jesus was at festivals. He was at weddings. When they ran out of wine, he took a minute to call on the Father and, boom, made some more wine so the party could keep going. Jesus was going to houses and getting his grub on. Uh-oh. Jesus was hanging out with tax collectors, sinners, since we all were that, but we had to separate what we wanted to call ourselves. Jesus was hanging. And they didn't like that either. Jesus was a joyful dude. He was out there. See, Jesus never changed just because he was with people who were sinners. Jesus never changed because he went to a party. Jesus was strong in what he did, and he was the joyful one in this one. See, Jesus is the part where we played the pipe and you did not dance. They was upset with Jesus. They called him and right away, here is a glutton and a drunk. Uh-oh. Judgment call. A friend of tax collectors. Uh-oh, judgment call, and sinners. Judgment call. Now, the funny thing to me in this verse is going to be when he come back and make that judgment call. Because <laughs> he's going to walk up and probably say, yeah, I'm that dude. <laughs> I'm that dude that you said was a drunkard and a glutton, a friend to the tax collectors and sinners. And oh, yeah, I'm king of kings. You didn't listen. I couldn't please you when I was here. When we came through one way, you wasn't happy. When I came through the other way, you wasn't happy. Is it just that you wanted to reject the message? So, Jesus was the party and joyful part in 17. He attended weddings, festivals, parties. Jesus was sociable. You don't have a crowd following you if you ain't sociable. I'm sorry. But what's important also to add to that, he was sociable, but he wasn't, he was at the, the weddings and at the parties, but he wasn't a drunk man staggering. No. He was with the, 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 the people uh, um, in the world, you know, but he wasn't conformed to their right. ways. That, make, that makes the difference. Jesus didn't change being Jesus because he was with Reminded the so-called sinners. Because you know what? When he landed, <laughs> he was with all the sinners. So Jesus didn't change. His message didn't change. And Jesus was good to all he came in contact with. He didn't say, you got to be on this level. He went to their level to find them. He didn't change. He just went to where they were at. And, and we couldn't handle that. We, we had problems with that. Why wouldn't the Messiah be sociable? You had a problem with the hermit that I had down here. You, you said he, he wasn't good enough. So now you got the sociable Messiah down here who is out here. Feeding crowds, doing miracles, going to grave sites. Everything you need, he's doing. And what you say, I'm going to start calling him names now. That, that ain't good enough either. <laughs> see, see, Jesus drank wine and even made more wine for the wedding. And of course, they were not pleased with that. So here comes the name calling all the things that. You should have been saying thank you, Lord, for, for taking the time to come be with us, yes. for taking the time to feed us, for giving us the word, for showing us faith. Nah, that ain't good enough for us, us humans. You know, we, we need more than that. <laughs> we need a little more than that. Jesus is quoting their criticisms against him. Hmm. They are judging Jesus. I can judge a few things. It ain't going to be him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might say them shoes don't look 
looking good with your outfit, your hair ain't been right. Jesus walking the door and be like, he got it. What, what, what you got to say to him? What do you have to say to him? And you didn't listen to his therapy. You didn't like his way, so Jesus came a different way and you didn't like that. How do I please you rebellious humans? Is a question he should have probably asked them. Regardless of how they approached those people to the, the outcome was never as it should have been. It wasn't. John told you. Jesus told you. Everybody should have been changed. We all should be changed now. But the outcome didn't match the work. It didn't match the work. So it should have been, and if they should have just listened, because the message was easy and clear. Yeah. Jesus' message was only hard when you rejected it. Jesus' message was only hard when you couldn't submit yourself. Jesus' message was only hard when you didn't turn to God. See, people may have criticized Jesus and John, but look at what they did. Look at the things they did. If our actions had wisdom like John and Jesus, then you would see the violence that we seek to do the work of God. We would be praying in tears of blood. We would be walking around like we can't live without the Lord all the time. We would be pushing love in this world like we push anger in this world and hatred. We would be showing people how great our God is because you can't live without him. But we will shy up when we get in the crowd. We will back down when the wrong person says something. We definitely going to get quiet if it's one of our boys or girls and we don't want them to know. See, we got to fight. We don't back down. We stand up. So, you got to have some violence in this. And it's that spiritual violence. And keep going for it. Keep fighting for it. Jesus says that lady wisdom is justified by her children's actions. And this was accepting John and Jesus for what they both did for the uplifting of the kingdom. They did great work for the kingdom. You can complain about Jesus if you want to. But he taught, preached, healed, suffered, loved, and was resurrected like no one else. And John, John was a herald for Christ that led people to repentance. And don't forget, John was beheaded for telling the king, I ain't going to do it your way. I'm going to stay strong to the Lord because what you are doing is wrong. And guess what happened? Chop that head off. Remember I said, would you die for the word? John said yes. And he did. He, he went against the king. And that king was expecting him to change. But as much as he thought John was going to change, John said, no. I'm going to stay strong. He persevered. He was violent about the Christ and Messiah that he served. Even to death for John and Jesus, there was a wisdom in their action. Because... They both remain faithful. Amen? Amen. Questions, concerns, comments? Woo. Heavenly Father, thank you. Sunday school, we still doing Facebook Live. We hope y'all doing well out there. Parents, do something with your kids this summer. Open that book up called the Bible. It'll help them. And parents, open it up for yourself too. Amen. Get bothered about reading your word. You got time. We got time. Take some time to read the word. The Lord will bless you. It'll help you. More so than anything else. Um, any birthdays that we missed, happy birthday, belated birthdays. Um, and we'll be back here next week for Sunday School, live on Facebook. Um, any other comments, concerns? Anybody, anybody, anybody want to pray us out?
Christ.